I got up recently, I'm still not quite awake yet, but I want to thank El Grand Loco 82 for pointing out where I was wrong. <clears throat> Dead wrong. I was completely wrong about the tiki-wielding marches, or march I should say, on Friday being peaceful, because it didn't end that way. I didn't see that footage. I had gotten like 10 minutes of footage from lots of little clips from Twitter, clips from news, clips from other places. I was going to make a video about it, and never did. Still got a bunch of these clips, uh, you know, that I could patch together, but none of them included anything violent. I originally didn't see anything violent, so I thought that's how it remained. Um, I should have put I should have put violence in the search, in the searches that I did. So and I didn't. So I was dead wrong there. And the and the white nationalists started the violence. So I was wrong. Um, in the case of Saturday, there were some fists being thrown. I never got to see who started it. So I don't know with that. I don't know the answer to that. And at this point, I don't know if I'll be able to find the answer to that. <clears throat> so many of the stories are conflicting. So, but I will say this. When the right becomes violent, they don't do it to property. They do it to people. And they want people to be scared. When the right wants people to be intimidated, they want them to be intimidated and scared of violence towards them, not violence towards property. And in that regard, I would say that the left is far more moral in the way that when they get violent, the left is far more moral. Because I think it's a lot more moral to destroy property than it is to hurt people. Now, punching uh, uh, Richard Spencer, yeah, that's that's an example of them going right to, towards people. Most of the time, though, it's about property. You know, the right wing wouldn't do that. They think property is the most important thing, apparently, right? And it is rather disgusting that I've seen a number of people on the right kind of egging on when the car drove into the people. That's a little bit dis that's that's not even a little bit disgusting, that's extremely disgusting. Put that in the context of if it was a Muslim doing that, and suddenly the the narrative would be completely different. Yeah, now those are some double standards. So Yeah, I'm I'm kind of torn up by how wrong I was. Uh, Mabasey made a video. Hey Mabasey, you are much better in your videos than you are in text. And I know that I can be quite different in text than in videos as well. I know that in text I can be much more unreasonable. And it seems you're the same way. You know, you made some good points in your video, and I appreciate it very much. This whole thing has me questioning whether or not I really want to go to the March on Google. Because when I started talking about the March on Google, especially on Facebook, people are saying, well, that's that's primarily a right-wing thing, and, and we'll have the, the nat white nationalists and others like that at that as well. And I'm like, oh, so then we can expect counter-protests and potentially violence. Great. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to go. I, I'll see how I feel by the end of the week. But um, <clears throat> nevertheless, I was wrong, and I'm reevaluating a lot of stuff right now. So I'm not going to go too much into details of that stuff because it's I'm still processing this. So anyway, thank you for pointing out where I was wrong. <clears throat> 